Amanda Knox was dazzled by cameras as she arrived for the close of her trial. In Italy, she has become a notorious celebrity. But speaking in court for the last time, the 22-year-old said she was an innocent abroad, caught up in a dreadful nightmare. I was really worried that people would think that I'm someone I'm not and that I've done things I haven't. I'm really worried that people will project the mask of a murderer onto my skin. Knox is accused, along with her former boyfriend, Rafael Selecito, of murdering her housemate, Meredith Kircher, in November 2007. The 21-year-old exchange student from Coulston in Surrey was killed here in her bedroom. The prosecution claims Meredith's bra, which was recovered at the scene, had Selecito's DNA on the clasp. But in a final appeal to the court, he pleaded his innocence. I'm not living in a cubo. I am not living a nightmare anymore, but something far more dramatic. I have been involved in an absurd situation which I don't know anything about. I have listened to the prosecution and I have not been able to understand what exactly my role was in all this. This case has captivated the media for the last 11 months. Now, through the prism of a tabloid headline, what you have is a young, beautiful woman who's been accused of murdering her housemate in an orgy of sexual violence. Inside the court, the jury will soon retire to consider the fate of Amanda Knox and Raphael Selecito, a verdict expected in the next 48 hours.